Thank you for tuning in into my channel where you find all about art journaling, collage, mixed media, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Hi, my name is Bea Grob and I'm glad you are here. Welcome back to my next video. Uh, if you remember, I did alter this book and I went ahead and have chesseled all my pages. I actually went over twice. There's still some colors visible, but that doesn't really bother me. So let's start making a little piece of art, altered book or whatever you want to call it. First thing I'm going to do, and you probably have already seen the thumbnail, so you have a, a bit an idea what's going on today. So first I'm going to start with some sky color. I'm going to put it on both. This is the cover. I put it directly on the cover and on the first page here. And this is a very opaque paint, which I think is exactly what I need. And the direction that the book works is going to be like that. But so I can show more, <laughs> I'm going to put it this way. And just adding some blue color all over here. And um, I do crisscross my brush so that I get a little bit of a structure, it's just the way I like it. If you want a smooth application, you just go in one direction and then you get a smooth surface, but I don't like that. <laughs> For this thing I'm doing here now, I mean, it all depends a little bit on your project also. It's somewhat separated, huh? Okay. That's better. Now, um, I want to add some clouds also, and I'm going to use just a gesso and a sponge. And the best thing to do with it is actually dab it off a little bit and then go into Now I also have a grey here and uh, clouds usually at the bottom are more greyish but you only need a tiny 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 bit. That's probably already too much. Yeah. Means I have to go over with the chesso again. Okay, here we have some clouds. Now that has to dry, I will be back. I'm gonna use the heat tool. Just figured out I didn't film it really. Well, this book is really a challenge for me, so I don't know how much you have seen, but I did glue on with heavy, with a gel mat, 
the birds and the houses. Now that has to dry completely and then I will be back. Okay, the next step is to add some definition to my buildings and I use the Sabilo All, which works really well for that kind of work. And I'm going to make also sort of windows, just to make it more clearly that the uh, buildings. And I even think I'm going to separate those. Now I do use a water tank brush to uh, activate the uh, Stabilo Oil. And I'm not going to do it everywhere, just in some areas. I have different cutting tools. This is actually a brand new which uh, turns the blade. I have never tried it, so I'm gonna try it. So you see how that works. Because I sometimes have, have a problem cutting around corners. For finer paper that's okay. Then I have this is from Aki Tools. Yeah. Maybe I go to the carpet tool. <laughs> that's okay, here we go. Yeah, that's much better. I'm actually thinking now about using the scissor for cutting in here because I want to cut out all the white stuff. And by the way, that's a cu cutting mat which is uh, self-healing. Very helpful for those kind of jobs. Now I have to be careful that I don't cut off his peak.
I'm gonna go over the edges with the black marker just to hide a little bit the white pieces. Sometimes when you cut out things you get those white edges which I don't like really. I do use a pit pen. I grab just the next one. You could use a sharpie instead. That works too. It's just something that's permanent. Okay, here we are. The good thing with pit pen, you can erase them a little bit while it is still somewhat wet with just water. Anyway, so we have our first layer of our books. As you can imagine, there's going to be more layers to follow. I hope to see you soon again. Take care. Bye.